Thank you for joining me on Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas YouTube channel. We're on Highway 19 north of Murfreesboro. We're about eight miles north of the Crater of Diamonds and a couple of miles south of Lake Greeson and Narrows Dam. We're here at the Hines Bluff area just for marker scents uh, right here by the Little Missouri River. But what I wanted to show you are the steep, steep rock cliffs here alongside the highway and talk to you about like why diamonds are in Arkansas and what these rock cliffs have to do with it. I'm going to pull over here in a second so you can see just how tall this is that I'm talking about. And this isn't the only spot. We'll go on up the road some more too, but um, it goes way, way up there. Okay, and if you study this, the these are flat sedimentary rocks. They used to lay flat and now they're tipped way up. And uh, it goes up really high. I, I wouldn't even want to guess how high in the air this is. But um, they were pushed up. Here you can see. See what I'm talking about. This used to be flat lying sedimentary rock. See, you can see the layers in it. Well, what happened? Why are they not laying flat anymore? Well, that's part of the reason why diamonds are here. If you believe the continental drift theory, that the continents used to be a lot different and uh, floated around and bumped into each other and another continent hit this North American plate years ago and pushed against it with such power that it pushed this once flat-lying rock and stood it up on end like that. Um, <clears throat> Then the continents drifted back apart and left a deep rip, a deep-seated deep -seated, uh, cut in the earth, a weak spot, okay? Because it, it pushed together and then it pulled back apart. And because of that weak spot, then later there was earthquake faulting and that allowed volcanic material to come up from like more than 100 miles deep down in the diamond stability zone. And because of that weak spot in the earth, the volcanic material brought diamonds with it from deep. Most volcanoes are not that deep-seated, but the ones here were. They could bring diamonds up from the diamond stability zone, and that's why there's diamonds here. We're right on the edge of where two continents collided, and that's why there's a string of volcanic uh, pipes in southwest Arkansas, and one of them is Crater Diamond State Park.